We can make the deal. Anything you want. Our issues can be solved with handshakes, Mori. This is what this is happens, what happens when you back, you back out, out of a deal, deal with, me. with me. There's only one way you're getting out of this alive. You have to solve a riddle. And I choose my words carefully if I were you. Listen closely. No, please, don't do this! Without fingers, I point. Without arms, I strike. Without feet, I run. Who am I? I've got visual. That drone, fully functional. I'll need a place to drop in without being noticed. Time for some recon. It's a tricky one, isn't it? A mind bender that scratches at the very nature of our existence. The mere pondering of which can drive brilliant men to madness. It's the kind of conundrum that drives you to distraction. Rattling around like a rat in your skull. Once it's in there, oh, it never gives you a moment's peace. Believe me, I know. Remember, choose your words carefully, Mori. You only have so many fingers. It'll be that much harder to count your blood money. But don't think you can just stall. I will get bored. You won't like that. Riddler's taken hostages, casino patrons, innocent bystanders. Uh, they're clearly not his main target. Must be an insurance policy. Riddler. A terror from the past. I never thought I'd see him on our streets again. He's not to be taken lightly. Cashier's booth. That'll do. Just need to take out the guard first. Audio playback fully functional. Time for a distraction. Patience, Maury. Are you expecting a hint? Give me an answer! Batman, we can't get in. The front's covered by gunmen and 
They've got the back barricaded with blackjack tables. How should I deploy when we're inside? I'm relying on your eyes and ears. What's the best course of action? Gear up. Make a frontal assault. Try and draw their fire away from me. You got it. You're completely insane! No. I don't believe that's it. I'll clear a path. Wait for my signal. Give him hell. We're counting on you. busy right now, but I'll see if I can fit you in. Not him, the hostage! Shoot the hostage! clearly isn't using his head. Break it open. With pleasure. I've heard stories in the streets about you, Batman. You're the biggest name in Gotham since... Well... Since I left town. Everyone's very impressed with you. I'm not impressed. Gotham's criminals have become zealots and thugs in cheap suits. And you... I've come home to find a wannabe in my chair. Eating my goddamn porridge! This is my city! Now I'm back. Gotham has forgotten you, Riddler. Crawl back under your rock before you get hurt. <laughs> Says the man with a hook at his throat. You're supposedly the world's greatest detective. Yet here you are, completely at my mercy. I don't see much evidence of that. I expected more of a battle from you, Batman. Something longer. More of a match of wits, while my men mop up what passes Gordon, for no. law and for... Oh, you have to be kidding. Clever, but not smart enough. Let me show you how it was done back in the day. doesn't do it for me. Like a 
common street hood. It just doesn't do it for me. That's cheating! Think I care about your rules? I'd heard you're a man who followed a code. Why would you save that dirtbag's life? Mori made his money running guns, trading off the suffering of war. I believe in justice. Mori deserves a trial in a court of law. If he's guilty, his cell will be right next to yours. Justice? Ridiculous. Either way, you won't be the one to put me there. You know how to scrap. I'll give you that. But it's not enough. Let's see how you do with something a little more cerebral. Better hurry, detective. Solve my puzzle soon. Or people are gonna get hurt. And we know you can't let that happen. You should have called us before going in, Gordon. Waller? After all, we're here to help. Circuitry inside, but nothing obviously dangerous. The back computer will be able to analyze further. Your days are numbered, Bat Freak. We'll see each other again. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Keep one eye on the sky, Chuckoffs. Heavens are gonna fall on your goddamn heads! Tell me all about it, down at the precinct. The Riddler's right hand in custody? Not a bad result, all told. Riddler used to leave clues at all his crime scenes. Always thought he was smarter than the people trying to catch him. Thought we could use help dragging him down. He got a sick pleasure out of taunting us. Arrogance like that. 
will be his undoing. He keeps showing off he's bound to make a mistake. Maybe, but we can't underestimate him. Riddler's heyday was a dark time in Gotham. And what we just saw, he hasn't mellowed with age. Uh-huh. Get Fernandez on it right away. Commissioner Gordon. Brace yourselves. Just so you know, this woman has a lot of juice with the governor. Rub her the wrong way, I could end up on foot patrol till I retire. My people are trained for situations like this, Gordon. We'd have Riddler in custody if you'd only picked up the phone. So, you're the legendary Batman. I've heard a great deal about you. So much so, I don't know if I should believe the hype. I haven't had the pleasure of an introduction, Miss... A pleasure, huh? Most people don't usually call it that. This is Amanda Waller, director of the agency. What are the feds doing here? Riddler's their case. The GCPD has been asked to open our doors to them, give them whatever they need. We've been tracking that maniac for some time. No one knows more about him than we do. World-class criminals like Riddler, they're kind of our specialty. If you were tracking him, why didn't you tell us he was coming? We get a lot of unverified reports. I wanted to be sure. Now we know. Riddler used to be a player in Gotham back when Thomas Wayne and Falcone ran the city. He disappeared so suddenly, and for so long, everyone thought he was dead. <laughs> everyone was wrong. Riddler's back, and if these theatrics are anything to go by, he wants the whole city to know. My people tell me you did some good work handling him, Batman. You and me? I bet we'd make a damn fine team. I heard how you dealt with Lady Arkham. Not to mention the city's corrupt mayor, Dent. We could do great things together if we joined forces. Whatever you think you can bring to the table, I don't need it. You knew me even a little, you wouldn't hesitate. Trust me, you want me on your side. The only real problem with your setup is who you're working with. Local law enforcement clearly can't cut it. I got a local crime rate says otherwise. Ms. Waller... <laughs> Please, Commissioner. What was that charge of the Light Brigade crap with the riot shields? Good cops got hurt because of it. Not to mention you let Riddler slip through your fingers. You GCPD cowboys clearly don't know what you're doing. You're putting all this on me? You're the commanding officer, aren't you? Or are those stars purely for show? Back off, Waller. Don't blame the police, blame Riddler. Or hadn't you noticed on he the was the one cutting off fingers? No, oh, I noticed, all right. Just like I noticed you let him get away. I'm here to prevent this incompetence in the future. I gotta get a security detail on Mori while he's in the hospital. Agent Avesta will fill you in on what we know so far. As a token of interdepartmental cooperation. The nerve on her. Don't tell these people a thing, especially about that puzzle. This is our town. We're the ones that'll catch Riddler. Ooh, I thought she was gonna bite your head off for a second. Uh, I'd like to see her try. Special Agent Imana Vesta, Field Intelligence Specialist on the Riddler case. And my partner, Agent Blake. How do you do? I put together this psychological profile of Riddler. You'll see when you read it. He's... changed. For your eyes only, <laughs> if you catch my drift. The target of the casino attack, Rumi Mori. Any idea what Riddler wanted with him? We figure it has something to do with why he's back in Gotham. He was asking about a riddle. What kind of riddle? Something about a mind-bender that drove men to madness. Hmm. Interesting. I've heard that before. Thanks. That's a help. I'm Gotham born and raised, you know. My dad ran a store in the shadow of City Stadium. I just wanted to say it's a real honor to meet you. I do have something I want to ask, though. The criminally insane. You're drawn to them, aren't you? There's something in you that pulls you towards the danger. The chaos, the energy. 
You can't keep away, can you? I don't like what you're insinuating. Uh, of course, I... Keep your pop's psych evaluations to Riddler and stay out of my head. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to pry. I think I know you a little better now. I'll be in touch. Agent. Batman, before you go, Gotham's your city. I respect that. But you should know I don't have to play nice. I'm letting you hunt the Riddler for now. You better share everything you find. Or this courtesy call is gonna become something you really won't like. You get me? There's a lot of ways this could go. I don't take kindly to threats, Waller. Eventful evening. I've taken the liberty of preparing some refreshments. Uh, thanks, Al. I need to focus. Maybe music will help. I need something cool. The computer is finished scanning the Riddler's puzzle box. It's ready when you are. Let's get to work. Explosives detected, no radioactivity. Nothing dangerous at all so far. Computer, run another scan. I want to be absolutely sure this thing is safe. Also, I took the liberty of digging up everything I could find on the agency. There's plenty here. Know your enemy and all that. It... it comes and goes. Ever since the kidnapping and, and all the other business with Lady Arkham. Alfred. <clears throat> no, no, don't you worry about me. No, I, I, I should be fine. It was worse after my first tour of duty. Alfred, it's clearly a problem. You should get it looked at. Uh, well, as you say, Bruce, it'll pass. Working always helps. Agency. The public face of a shadow committee of military leaders, intelligence experts, and government officials. 
Civil rights violations, domestic black sites, decentralized accountability. This information, it's all before Waller took over the director position. Perhaps she's given them a new direction. Maybe, but the agency's empowered to override local law enforcement with impunity. Oh, that man's got some competition in town. I wonder if we need be worried about losing our unpaid and thoroughly exhausting job, I mean. The Riddler's a flashy homicidal maniac with a thing for puzzles, and Waller and her agency might be just as dangerous. Again, Waller may be running a more ethical operation these days. Yes, Riddler terrorized this city long before you were Batman. Gotham's original costumed criminal. Yes, to have him returned, it's unsettling. I remember when he was the scourge of the underworld. Even Carmine Falcone gave him a wide berth. He was presumed dead for so long. Why come back to Gotham? Well, he seemed to have a prior relationship with Mori. Some kind of axe to grind. Let me upload the rest of this to the Codex. The agency realized Riddler was still alive when he orchestrated a prison break at Peña Duro. My men here say you let yourself get caught, Mr. Riddler. Just Riddler. Why willingly turn yourself in? Oh, Mr. Warden, to get everyone else out, of course. That wasn't obvious. The man is deranged. If you ask me, he needs help. He's clearly sick. The man is in urgent need of a doctor. I know just the place for him. Plenty of room at Arkham Asylum. Next to him, most of the inmates seem like a picture of health. What was that? You should see your face. Its confusion is delightful. I think I'll take it with me. I take everything back. Let's see what Riddler's little gift is all about. Solve my puzzle soon, or people will get hurt. Uh, Riddler's M.O. hasn't changed in all these years. There's writing engraved along the rim. I have an eye, yet cannot see. Who am I? That sounds familiar. I've heard it before. Don't happen to remember the answer, do you? Sadly, no. The eye of a needle. But how does that relate to the object in question? Maybe it's telling us how to use it. Ah, uh, sounds very plausible. Look at these strange grooves.
A record needle. Halfway there, Batman. Means you've got half a chance of stopping a whole lot of pain. To be honest, you're already doing better than I thought. But don't sit around feeling pleased with yourself. Unless you want to see me tear this city apart. I suppose you're going to look in there. An open invitation from the Riddler? Of course. Huh. Looks like I'm manipulating radio bands or waveforms. Something. I'm not sure what I'm looking at or how any of it is actually displaying. And that sound? What? Oh, uh... I'm not really sure about any of it. Get Lucius on the line, will you? Hey, Alfred. Good morning, Lucius. I hope we're not interrupting your breakfast. My youngest is probably stealing all the bacon, but duty calls. What's up? This is a puzzle from the Riddler. There's a strange waveform pattern I can manipulate inside that needs your expertise. I, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I can meet you at Wayne Tower in a little bit. We'll uh, fire up the R&D lab. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important, Lucius. No, no, don't worry about it. It's actually gonna be a big day for me. Tiffany starts at Wayne Enterprises. Tiffany? Really? Your daughter working alongside you. How wonderful. Uh, certainly is. Bruce, I'll see you soon. Bye, Lucius. Can't wait to see Tiffany. I'll be at Wayne Town. Good hunting, Bruce. Excellent. I'm glad I caught you. I have some good news to share. Good to hear it, Regina. It's what I've come to expect, with you as Wayne Enterprises chairperson. I just talked to the board, and they couldn't be more pleased with how our partnership with GCPD is going. Seems like you made the right call when you decided to take that contract over the Arkham remodel. The Gazette's running a piece about it. Look, I would love to hear all the details, but I've got a meeting with Lucius I've got to run to. Well, I don't mean to pry, but... What's in that case? Seems like an odd thing to be carrying around the office. Oh, this? This is just something for Lucius. I see. Well, I've got a meeting I've got to run to. We'll pick up this conversation this afternoon. Sounds great. in my chair. Just updating the encryption on your bat tech. But if you want me to stop? No, the seat is all yours. This is the thing you were talking about? One of Riddler's puzzles. Some kind of test. Show me. Huh. Any idea what he's planning? Not yet. That's why I need your help. If his history is anything to go by, he left us a clue. A psychological profile of Riddler. Uh, knowing how his mind works, this should come in handy. No sign of explosives or poison. Already scanned for that in the cave. See what I can do. Shouldn't take long. What in the? It's not one of mine. Think fast. Hi, Dad. 
Tiffany? Hey, Bruce. Tip my God, Tiffany. It's been a while. Sneaking out of orientation your first day? I just wanted to say hi to my new boss. I got you a present. A micro drone prototype I developed in my spare time. High-end AV, stealth black shell, programmable for autonomous observation. Small, quiet, and super smart. Just like its designer. Not bad, huh? You always had a thing for toys. So hard to know what to get a man who has everything. So I made you some tech the government would be jealous of. I love it. Thanks, Tiffany. Well, I guess it's not bad. Not bad. See what I had to deal with growing up? Huh. There's something different about you. Uh, there is. And I don't just mean what happened to your ear. I can't quite put my finger on it, but you look, you look, you look. Like uh, someone who needs another four hours of sleep? That's because you work too hard. Oh, that's rich, coming from a man who pretty much lives in his lab. Interesting. Don't. Too late, already touching. Just be careful. What a strange thing. The circuitry design. It's elaborate and unorthodox. Almost intentionally so. Like whoever put it together was kind of showing off. Huh, micro pulse waves? It's just weird. Seriously, what is this thing? I've never seen anything like it. It's like whoever made it. It's pretty cool, huh? I don't know if cool would be the word I would use. I can hear it hum. What does it do? That's what we're trying to work out. You guys are lucky I'm here to help. Uh, help with... Figure this freakish thing out. Uh, Tiffany did graduate first in her class at Cornell in molecular engineering. Let me take a crack at it. I can help you get to the bottom of this. Figure out what it does. All right, if you think you can help, then be my guest. Oh, I know I can help. I just gotta let him know that I won't be finishing up orientation. Uh, no problem. Oh, I was planning on swinging by the manor after work to see Alfred. I heard he wasn't doing so well. That he was having some issues with his health? Oh, well, well, I'll let him tell you himself, but, uh... He hasn't been doing so great since the kidnapping last year. Oh, no. Yeah, every now and then his, uh... Hands start shaking. I'd like him to see a therapist, but you know Alfred. Well, maybe I can convince him. Catch you guys later. Welcome aboard, Tiffany. Thanks, boss. All right, then. Time to crack this puzzle. I never told her, you know. Told her what I really do at Wayne Enterprises. What uh, we do. If you're willing to pull her into this Riddler project, why not consider bringing her into the fold? Into the mission? We're going to need help. If we're gonna be dealing with the likes of Riddler, and we can trust her. Well, if she's anything like you... She's better than me. Okay, then let's give her a shot. Great. I'll start thinking about how we can broach the subject with her. In the meantime, Riddler's puzzle will be a fine start. Well, shall we go down to the lab? Actually, the equipment we need is down in my office. We'll get this taken care of in no time. Mr. Wayne. Uh, yes? I'm Special Agent Avesta. This is my partner, Special Agent Blake. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you in a bit. I'll be down in my office. I'll be down in a few. No worries. I'll, uh, start without you. Sorry for the unannounced visit. 
we're with the agency's behavioral analysis unit. We just came by to ask a few questions? Please, come in. Make yourselves at home. Uh, can I get my assistant to get you anything? Uh, coffee, water, donuts? Don't worry. This won't take long. This office, it really represents you. Well, I'd like to think so. Is this you? Yeah. How old? I don't know, seven, eight, maybe? <laughs> so happy. After everything you've been through, I don't know how you still do it. Do what, exactly? It wasn't long ago when you were the most hated man in Gotham. Yet you still give so much back to the city. Why do you continue to help Gotham? Most people wouldn't be so charitable after that. What's that all about? My father did a lot of damage to a lot of people. I'm just trying to make things right. Thomas Wayne did cast a long, dark shadow. It must be difficult to get out from under it. What, uh... What is it you want? The agency recently brought me in to draft a psychological portrait of the Riddler. We've been tracking him for months, but haven't been able to find him. Well, I'm sorry, I think you were in the wrong place. You see, I don't really consort with criminals, or international terrorists for that matter. Yeah. <laughs> really? Because our sources say otherwise. A lot of things happened to you last year, and not all of them were good. You helped the GCPD capture Oswald Cobblepot, better known as the Penguin. He was a terrorist, a member of the Children of Arkham, and your friend. Come to think of it, you've been associated with quite a few psychopaths over the years. I wouldn't go that far. I would. The criminally insane, they seem drawn to you. Either that, or you're often in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yes, having money and fame makes you an easy target. I've had my fair share of crazies knocking on my door. Like this guy. I think you'd know him as John Doe. We understand that it was during your stay in Arkham where you and John met and became friends. From the sound of it, you two were close. Yeah, we were friendly. He showed me around Arkham. Is that right? According to hospital records, you and John were involved in a riot. They captured the whole incident on video. I saw you flee after John cut another inmate, a man named Victor Zaz. Several people were hurt. I don't care what you saw. You weren't there. You don't know what happened. I realize that was an unpleasant time for you. We're not here to dredge up ancient history. Then why are you asking about it? John was discharged from Arkham months ago. No one has seen or heard from him since. I was thinking maybe you have. <laughs> why would you think that? He listed you as his emergency contact. Uh, sounds like you two were pretty close to me. Okay, now I'm a little creeped out. I knew him for... Day. Maybe you made an impression on him. Well, I haven't seen or heard from him, so... Did he do something wrong? He's a person of interest. You see, we've got a wall in the office with a bunch of photos pinned to it. Two-Face, Penguin, Lady Arkham, you know, Gotham's most notorious. They've got all these little strings connecting them to one another, like a web. And you, my friend, are at the center. You keep pretty strange company for someone who wants everyone to think they're such a stand-up guy. <laughs> and your point is what exactly? That I'm some kind of criminal mastermind? Or just really unlucky? You know more than you're letting on, Mr. Wayne. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe you don't trust us. Or maybe you're a criminal, like your father. Maybe you're not the hero people think you are. 
Get the hell out of my... That's an evacuation warning. It's time for you to leave. We'll pick this up another time. Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking? What did you figure out? I've I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. Uh, Riddler really pulled a good one over on us. I might still be able to disable it, but Lucius, please tell me what's wrong. Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Lucius, we really made a difference, didn't we, Batman? Lucius. After a tragic explosion, the GCPD is opening an investigation into what they are calling an industrial accident. Wayne Enterprise's chief technology officer, Lucius Fox, died last Tuesday in the violent blast. A small service is being held for the tech giant and father of three at Divinity Church this Sunday. him like this it's it's hard to bear Lucius helped raise you Bruce hey, sir, he was it the was family attention. Riddler's attack on the casino was one thing but this this is personal we can't let him get away with it Riddler struck at the heart of our operations and tore a family apart in the process Riddler will pay for what he's done. I swear to you, I will make him suffer. Maybe it's what's called for, given the circumstances. Of course, it won't bring poor Lucius back. I can't imagine how devastated she must be to lose her father in such a violent way. <laughs> I should go talk to her. Yes. She can use all the support she can get. Hey, hey Tiffany. I still can't believe he's gone. None of this. None of this feels real. Dad is like family to me. If, if there's anything I can do, anything at all, please let me know. Thanks, Bruce. I appreciate it. He loved working for you, you know? They hardly saw him at home because of it. Mom used to complain when my little brother was growing up without a dad. Now I guess it's true. He was so busy. I can't remember the last time I got to hang out with him. Just father and daughter. Just thought there'd be more time. There were so many things I wanted to talk to him about. I know it's no consolation, but the work your father was doing, it was important. More important than family. That's not what I meant. Well, what did you mean? <sighs> Tiffany. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't blame you. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Just let it out. Just... 
to wrap my head around it all. <laughs> I saw his remains, Bruce. <laughs> there, there was hardly anything left. <laughs> what were you guys working on that could have caused that? It, it doesn't quite add up. Please tell me. For my own sanity. Tiffany, I will tell you soon. Just not here. What do you mean? Why not? It's not the right time. Hi, Bruce. What are you mixed up in? Fine. Just tell me one thing. That weird disc. Was that what killed him? Did you put my father's life at risk for that? I'm begging you. Just tell me that one thing. I need to know. I thought it was safe, Tiffany. I, I really did. I had no idea Lucius could get hurt. Please forgive me. Forgive you? I hope you can forgive yourself. Whatever you got my father into, I will find out. And I will shout it to the world. That's quite a grip. Gonna leave a bruise for sure. What are you doing here? I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? You and me, we're two friends in the same stitch. Look, I, I, I got you a little something just, just to mock the occasion. I knew you'd be hurting, see? I thought it might make you feel better. Um, thank you, John. That's very considerate of you. Oh, good. I wasn't sure. First time at a funeral, you see? People get upset at the littlest things. <laughs> it hasn't, um... It hasn't been easy for me out here, you know? I'm the new guy now. It's the freedom that gets to you. There's so damn much you hardly know what to do with it. <laughs> it's not like Arkham. Sometimes I miss those padded walls. You knew where the lines were drawn. Which one's not to cross? How did you get out? Oh my god, did you escape? <laughs> Didn't have to. Dr. Leland signed the papers herself. She always had a soft spot for me. If everyone could please take their seats, and we will begin. Would you just sit down? Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend, a father, a husband, a leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that uh, favor you owe me for settling the score with Zaz and, you know, getting you out of Arkham. You're, you're gonna do right by me, aren't you? I know, you're a man of your word. 
I gave you my word, didn't I? I'll stand by it. I knew the moment we met. Friends for life. So many points in your lives. And now, he's gone. You see, I met some inspiring people out here. Made some new friends. Made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce. That special breed who live by their own rules. They remind me of you. Of your father. So who are they? You'll find out when you meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the bowl. Maybe you, you will meet them for me, won't you? Please? I've, I've got a lot of writing on this. I already told them you would. Please don't let me down. I'd be happy to chat with your friends, John. Just say when and where. Oh, I was so hoping you'd say that. We are going to have so much fun. I knew this would work out. This air between us, this is real. You can't force this kind of friendship. I want to commemorate the moment. The guys will be so excited. Now, what filter should I use? I just know you're gonna hit it off with the guys. I shouldn't warn you though. I've got an enemy. Real piece of work. Calls himself the Riddler. How do you know the Riddler? Know him? I want to rip his eyeballs out. He's a thief and a killer. And worst of all, he's... He's rude. I tried to let the authorities know the kind of lowlife they're dealing with, but... Wait a minute, you know him too. Of course, a man of Bruce Wayne's caliber knows everyone. I shouldn't be surprised. Not your usual crowd. you, I'd stay away from Riddler, John. He's dangerous. <laughs> well, you don't have to tell me twice, buddy boy. If I had my way, that smarmy know-it-all would never leave his hole. His hole? You know where he is. No, no, not exactly, no. Maybe I said too much. I'm your friend, John. You can trust me. Uh, trust is the mainstay of any healthy relationship. I want that for us, Bruce. I really do. Yeah, I, I really don't know much. I heard the egomaniac always made people go to him for meetings. Somewhere in the East End. Where in the East End? Honestly, that's all I know. And even that might be out of date. If you're so eager to find him, why don't you let me help you? I'll find out where he is and get back to you. Let's see if I can't find out where that jerk puts his head down. It'd be just like the old days. I would appreciate that, John. That's what friends are for, Bruce. Just meet mine later, like I ask. Look, I think I outstayed my welcome here. I'm, I'm just gonna slip away. Excuse me. Sorry. It's, uh... It's been so nice catching up, Bruce. I miss this. This trust between us. I know we'll see each other again soon. Be in touch. Goodbye, Bruce. Until next time. Intriguing fellow. Certainly not one for decorum.